Hey, Rich, this is Greg Nenna, Golf Galaxy. I want to thank you for coming in today. I want to go over a couple of things we talked about. So I'm going to let your first one just run through in slow motion so you can take a look at everything. Um, we did just a little bit about the grip, which, we'll, which I'll talk about just briefly, but I think the grip's pretty easy. I think you'll remember that one. Biggest problem you have in your golf swing is that your shoulders are too steep as you're going back on the backswing, and it causes you to have to do a lot of manipulation on the downswing to get the club in the right position. So you'll see what I mean by too steep is that as you're going back right here, your head and your left shoulder will go downward. And as they're going downward, what's happening is your right shoulder is raising up. So by the time you get to the top of the swing, your shoulders are too much in this position right here. And also the golf club itself is too steep. In other words, it's aimed too much directly at the ground if we look at about this position right here. That would, would indicate that you're going to chop downward. You're going to swing that golf club. You swing the head of the golf club very vertically towards this golf ball. Now, of course, you're not stupid, so you already know that you can't take a really big divot coming through. So what will happen as you come down is you'll lift your body up in an effort to get out of the way so that you don't hit the ground too hard. But again, that raising and uh, you know lowering and raising the spine throughout the swing makes it really difficult to be consistent with what you're doing. So remember, the first thing we talked about is just that grip, uh, trying to get you in a position where I cannot see your left thumb. I realize it is very difficult to see on these pictures because I can't make this a whole lot bigger. But if you see this position, see how we can see the top of your thumb and your right hand is too far under the golf club. Uh, if I bring up one of my tour players here, you can see, <coughs> excuse me, you can see right here how his thumb, if he ever comes up on the screen, there we go. You can see how the thumb on his glove hand is completely hidden. In other words, the right hand is directly over the top of the left hand. So my advice with the grip, very simply, just make sure that you cannot see your left thumb. That hand on the glove hand has to be hidden completely, or thumb, excuse me, on the glove hand. Uh, when we talked about the backswing a little bit, I'll, while I've got him up here, I'll just run through what he does a little bit. And what you'll see is that the down, there's no downward motion of the head on the backswing, so that keeps his shoulders much more level. And here's the big thing that we talked about right there. We need that elbow pointed at the ground. You can see the difference here with yours where that elbow is pointed out behind you in this position right here. So we're going to keep working on that. We're trying to get that elbow right there to point downward this way instead of pointing this way out behind you. So work on that position, that 9 o'clock position. It's basically just the takeaway back to you get about halfway back on the backswing. Uh, work with that training aid. It will help you a whole bunch. Uh, if you do have questions about any of this, I'm going to actually go forward here. Just a couple of swings. This was actually the last one we recorded right here. This was when you were trying to keep your elbow close to your body, and you see it didn't work. So as you swung back right there, the elbow starts to separate away from the body. By the time we got to the back swing, the top of the back swing, that elbow was right back pointed at the wall behind you. So hopefully that device will make some sense to you to help to get that elbow pointed at the ground. And then next time we'll start to talk about how to get that club down from the top. Well, if you have questions about this, again, Rich, always give me a call and let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time you come down.